Hello friends, welcome to video tuition. In this another short HP ALM tips and tricks tutorial, I will show you how we can set default values for defect in ALM which help in saving time entering constant values in a repetitive tasks. Launch ALM and go to defects module. When you click on new defect, as you see on screen, none of the fields have values except status which anyway is grayed out so can't be selected or changed. In your case, you may see some defect fields populated with values which are configured by ALM administrator. Since there are many fields to be updated for completing a defect, you would prefer to set default values for some of the defect fields which have constant values. To set the default values for the defects, go to the edit menu in defects module and then select the option set default values. In set default values window, I see couple of options. The first option is to actually select the name of the field and the other option is to enter the value of selected field in the first option. In this tutorial, I will show you setting up default values for three different fields. The first field I select is test type and the value I select for test type field is functional. Once the field name and values have been entered, click on the add button. This will add up the entry in the selected value section right at the bottom. Another field name I select is subtype and the value of the subtype I select is manual. Once both the values have been entered, I click on add button and this will again add up another entry in the selected values section. The third and the last value I select is test phase. And the value I select is system integration. I add the entry and this shows all the three entries in the selected value section. Here in this window, I have been given the option to remove any of the entry which I have already selected. But in this example, I am going to continue with all the three. I also can set the order of the fields by using the up and down buttons. Now as the last step, I select the checkbox which is there on the screen which ensures that the default values are automatically populated when I open the new defect. I click OK button to save the entries. Now, when you click on new defect again, you will see the fields which we have selected for setting default values have been pre-populated with the values we entered. And this way, it saves our time entering these values again. Thanks for watching my tutorial. If the tutorial was helpful, Please click on like button and do share it with your friends. You may also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website for receiving latest update. Thanks again.